Katie, then you went and you were the evening anchor on CBS for a few years. And then you did a talk show on ABC. And then you went to Yahoo. So along that path. I apparently cannot keep a job. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what, was, what was a misstep? Surely you had a misstep along the way. What would you have done differently? Well, I, I think probably in retrospect, let me see. I think that probably at CBS, I was brought in to kind of shake things up. And I think in retrospect, I probably should have done that at a much slower pace. I think, you know, I, I've thought about this. It's a very traditional network. I think the most traditional network of the big three. And I think that my edict from Les Moonves was to kind of shake it up, to be less formulaic, to less voice of God. And, you know, I think my strong suit is I'm very relatable and accessible, and I'm not kind of a portentous evening news person, you know? That's just not who I am. And I think that probably it was enough of a shock to the system for CBS viewers to frankly see a woman in that chair and then to have somebody who was really kind of changing the format and tinkering with it. And I think in that, in that venue, it's really hard to experiment. You know, I think there are some places where you can say, we'll try things, and if they don't work, you know, we'll recalibrate. But I think in a very, uh, an older audience that has seen uh, the evening news in a certain, you know, from a certain prism for so long, I think it was, was too much too soon. And I also think I probably should have been a little more political. And I'm just not that political. I'm a very direct person. And what do you mean political? I probably should have played the game a little bit more, sucked up to the right people a little bit more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just not my thing, but maybe it should be. <laughs> so. How big a risk was it to go to Yahoo, to leave the broadcast networks? You had tried them all. Yeah. All but there Fox were, and New York One. Well, yes, except for Fox and New York One. Um, were you worried at the time about relevance and reach? Well, you know, I mean, I think it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that we're undergoing a massive transformation, not just in media, but really in every aspect of society when it comes to technology. And clearly, I think it's really changed the way people are consuming news and information. And I think, uh, you know, I think television is still incredibly important and some great work is being done in television. But I thought this would be fun and challenging. And I'm really of the school that it's always important to continue to learn, to continue to stretch. You know, I could have played it safe a long time ago and probably would be, you know, walking with a walker into the 30 Rock. And, you know, and, and, and yet I think to, to really have new challenges and to try new things is, is really the way I'm wired. And so, um, you know, there was this whole new world out there. And it's been really an incredible learning process for me. I'm learning, you know, expressions. They speak a whole new, a whole different language, so you know? They say you like whiteboarding and dashboards and dog fooding. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> Iterating, and I'm like, what are you? What, what is the dog hell are you talking? Katie? That's when they sample uh, tech problem, protect new tech products internally. Oh. And I'm like, what? Who are you people? So, um, 